Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Bruce and today I want to show you what you can do if your team does not play the strategic position in the game. With some tips and tricks you will be able to nonetheless make lots of damage, get a decent result and sometimes even turn around the game. If you have watched some of my videos, you know that I think playing and winning the so-called strategic position is what your team should be doing. Most of the maps have one key position from which one can control most of the map and hence, if it is won, win the game. However, sometimes due to several reasons, your team simply does not want to play this strategic position. In this case, you need to adapt your playstyle and react to what you see on the minimap. If you do so, you will be able to make lots of damage and even turn around the game. Let me give you some examples and show you what you can do if your team shows rather stupid behavior. Alright, first game in the Concept 5. We are spawning on Abby and let's see what options we have. Spawning on Abby in the south with the Concept 5. This is how the game usually develops. And in my opinion, with such a tank, you should rather make a more defensive start. So I like to go here in order to snipe into the middle. And then usually what I want to do is I want to try to go to the one and two lane and support my team if I see them in a slightly advantageous position. If not, then I want to go to this flank and have this uh, my teammates on this side in order to win this flank. So with the Concept 5, I like to start the game a bit more defensively simply due to the limitations of this tank and then later on I want to go and support my team on one or another flank most um, likely on the one and two lane because I think this is the most important uh, lane that you can play in the game okay our Brogetto 65 is making pressure can we take a shot nice so first damage um, in our tank and all right, take a look at the map and um, take a look at how our team is located. None of our tanks are proceeding to the one and two lane to the lane, which I think is um, the most important one. And so, um, yeah, so of course um, we can we can't proceed to the one and two lane all on our own. Instead, we have to adjust our playstyle. So. Um, let me pause here real quick and let me talk about what we can do in such a situation. So this is the current situation. As you can see, all our team is uh, proceeding via the 8 and 9 lane. However, none of the adversary tanks have been spotted in this um, location. So chances are that the adversary team is actually heavily proceeding to the 1 and 2 lane, pushing um, this position, maybe this position. As soon as they understand that none of our tanks has proceeded to this position, they, they will most likely aggressively proceed towards our base. So what I need to do is I need to expect those tanks to appear right here and maybe even here. Now, once they do so, I do not want to be as close to them um, as I am now. So instead, I want to um, try to or I want to stay in this position, maybe um, exploit those tanks proceeding here to get one more additional shot because there are some lines of fires here but thereafter i will need to relocate to this position maybe i will then proceed to help my team on this side maybe go go here or i will need to set up a defensive position right here in order to make more damage and to not brawl frontly um, against the adversary tanks so what i'm suggesting is you should try to read the minimap and to see what is going on you always should try to know where you want to fight have a game plan in your mind and then cross check whether your team is doing this the same thing or whether you do whether your team is trying to do something else and in this situation you you can clearly see that you will have to adjust your your playstyle and your gameplay because your team is not doing what you expect it to do Okay, so here's the crossfire I was uh, talking about. Nice shot onto the Super Conqueror. Excellent. And I want to make sure that maybe I can take a shot onto the object. Nice. There you go. Okay, that was an unfortunate bounce. 
Um, and now, as I said, the 114 SP2 is advancing, so he will most likely spot me. And so I need to play cautiously. Can I take a shot onto the Sago? Another 439 damage. Please do not block my way. Thanks a lot. And now, after my 10 seconds reload, I should not be spotted anymore. And then, okay, yeah, here you go. So, yeah, I need to relocate because um, looks like the 114 um, could spot me. And so, yeah, now I do have a problem. But, you know, after all, I could make 1,300 damage, 2,700 assisting damage. And um, I could fall back to a position from which I can take more shots onto the adversary team. Now, unfortunately... Okay, our team has managed to win the the 8 lane however i think there's not too much the object 709 and the mxm 454 can do in this position because after all the the 60tp and the e100 of the adversary team are still in the enemy base plus the adversary art has relocated and is now taking the object 709 under fire okay so let's see how it goes um so Okay, I will simply try to set up a defensive location. Meanwhile, 3.1k assisting damage. And I think um, right now this is a decent game in the concept 5. So 4.5k combined. But we are not, we're still not out of the game. And we still might be able to make one or another shot. Here you go. So our light tank has been taken out. Because he remained in the base. Which is a bad decision. And now we can take a shot onto the... Super Conqueror, nice. Little low roll here. Unfortunate. Yeah, the 60p is pushing the Amex M4, so I will simply maintain in this position. Now, go. This is the snapshot capability of the Concept 5, which I really like. Now, in this game, I'm not suggesting that you can do something um, in order to turn around the game in such a situation. No, I simply want to say that you can adjust your playstyle and you can simply adjust your, your game so to remain alive and to make more damage. Because after all, you will lose, let's say, 50% of the games and you will win 50% of the games. But if you can make more damage in those 50% of the games which are lost simply because your team does not proceed to the important positions, then you will overall become a better player and get better results and have a better statistic in World of Tanks. And so what I'm suggesting is even if your team is not playing as it should be, even if, it's, if it is not playing the strategic position that happens from time to time, you should adjust in order to nonetheless get a um, get an get a successful game and that's what we did in this situation so we made 3300 damage 3.5k combined so overall um about 6.9k combined and i think a decent result in the concept 5. all right second game this time we are playing the progetto 65 we're spawning on steps and let's first of all take a look at the map and see where the important position is located Spawning on steps in the south with the medium tank. This is how the game usually develops. Now, in my opinion, you have several options. You can go to the left side. However, this is where most of the heavy tanks go. I.e. this is um, more often than not the, the static flank. And so the flank in the north, this is where most of the medium tanks go. And this is more dynamic. So most of the time, the team which wins this flank wins the game simply because from both sides both teams are able to proceed towards the adversary base and then uh, gain map control and then decide the game and um, the fight on this flank actually uh, takes not as long as the fight on this tank once again because this is more stationary due to the heavy tanks and so in my opinion what you want to do is you want to try to win this portion and so i decide to push here at least if i have support from my team all right, so we want to go to the right flank and win this flank for our team and then maybe eventually push into the enemy base. So let's see how it goes. And instantaneously, if you take a look at the minimap, you can see that we do not have too much support. So 
There's there's my teammate, the 121B. And there's the Type 68. So that is certainly not enough in order to successfully proceed to this flank and to win this flank. So instantaneously we know that we need to retreat and we need to alter our playstyle and in this case set up a defensive location. So there's no way that you will win a flank with one or two tanks if you're playing against multiple opponents. That is not going to happen and you will simply ruin your game and hence also most likely ruin the game of your teammates. So instead we need to adjust and um, I want to set up a defensive location right here and so I was uh, talking to my teammate so he's proceeding to the K9 position and I will go to this position so that we can set up a bit of a crossfire situation and I think this should be helpful in order to defend this flank and in order to hold the adversary advance. Fortunately we could or our team could already kill two opponents and i mean take a look at the minimap so not only not only do we not play on the right flank we also are hesitant on the heavy flank and that is a situation which is kind of bad because we are losing map control instantaneously in the game the game is about two minutes old and we already have no map control whatsoever in the game but we are still alive and we've set up a strong defensive position out of which we want to try to basically diminish the adversary tanks and to um, yeah, reduce their HP in order to help our team. So that's what we want to do. Of course, this game is, yeah, you can call it a bit boring, but in my opinion, it is the exactly right thing. You have to adjust to the respective situation if your team is not playing as you expect it to do and if your team is not playing the important position fine then so be it then you have to do the best out of the situation so that's simply what you have to do uh, meanwhile yeah <laughs> uh, leopard PTA already says uh, bravo idiots right side is open he's absolutely right and it is a mistake in my opinion to not play the right side but hey what can you do so we have to adjust to the respective situation and we have to make the best out of it. So that's what we want to do. Um, hopefully the adversary team will simply drive into our position. And yeah, I'm pinging the map. I'm trying to tell the T100LT to spot for us. Because I think he could be the game changer um, on this open field. Um, T49 is answering. And pressing the OK button. So hopefully he will spot for us. And also not throw away his tank. We will see how that goes. So I want to stay in this position. And I want to simply support my team. And as you all know the Progetto 65 has a horrible DPM. So most of the time you only want to use your first shot. And then reload your gun. However the, the advantage of an autoloader is if you can use your full clip. Um, you have a huge... Uh, damage potential and you want to use this dam damage potential to take out guns so I would rather empty my clip and take out a tank than to basically maintain my DPM but uh, yeah not taking out a tank so that is uh, my tip for you if you're playing auto reloading tanks like uh, the Italian ones in general so let's see how it goes fortunately the T30 is in a good hull down position right there and we have a pretty darn good spot here. This is an extremely um, strong defensive position that you can exploit in such a situation. Okay, so... Okay, T49 is unfortunately killed. He's not the best spotter anyway, and I think he doesn't have any chance against the light tank like the Manticore, but that's just how it is. So, meanwhile, we are close to 1,500 damage, which is fine. And we simply want to be very, very sharp and instantaneously make damage if a tank moves out of cover as i said fortunately the t30 can exploit his hull down capabilities in this position this is an excellent gameplay if you ask me and meanwhile our t100 lt is doing nothing exactly nothing a very bad light tank driver in my opinion all right so let's see how it goes of course we need to be patient 
and simply let the enemies do the mistakes. Now, if your team is unwilling to play, let's say, proactively and is unwilling to go to a respective flank, of course, you have to set up a defensive position. And setting up a defensive position means that you uh, went from playing actively to passively, and that's just how it is. That is just what you have to accept. But I think my teammate and I were setting up a good defensive position, and here you go. We can take out the first tank. Nice. And we already made 1,800 damage, and I can always fall back into this uh, position where I am safe from every tank. Then I need to wait 10 seconds until I'm not spotted anymore, and then I can peek out of cover and try to spot another tank. And I, in this situation, need to make sure that I help the T-30. If the T-30 is taken out, then the situation will be much more difficult for us. And so I really want to make sure that this tank does not suffer too much and is not taken out by the adversary team. That's my goal in this situation. Here you go. Nice. Gonna take a shot. Okay, first one is a bounce. I will certainly take the next shot. Nice. At least one shot damage. Nice. 418. A little high roll. That's good. And we'll see how it goes. Manticore is spotted. Nice. Okay, our clip is ah, okay. a bit unfortunate. I was fully aimed in, but that's how it how it goes. And now, can we take a shot onto this tank? Yeah. Meanwhile, our team is uh, still very unsuccessful on the on the heavy lane. Looks like the Fosh one five five is annoying our heavy tanks. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, as I said, we need to stay patient here. Go here. Go. That's what I want to see. Okay, maybe another shot. No. Okay, I want to reload my clip, fall back, because I'm spotted and I do not want to lose any HP. Maybe I need them at the end of the game. You should always try to preserve your HP as much as possible in every game. And um, yeah, so you see me simply wait in this position. Um, and waiting for the enemy mistakes and I think there's okay you uh, you need to fall back okay that was a stupid play by the T30 he was in a pretty strong defensive position but he lost his patience and that is always bad in World of Tanks you need to stay patient not only in a in a light tank but also in such a defensive position okay so this tank has been taken out that is extremely bad and now it's all on on our own uh, and of course on our teammate to still hold this flank. If we lose our two positions, then we will for sure lose the game because then with the little bit of map control that our team possesses right in this situation, we will not be able to win the game because our tanks will uh, for sure be in a bad crossfire situation. Okay, so yeah, T100 LT is doing nothing in this game. Um, extremely bad, if you ask me. But that is how it is. So I think we can... Basically, we, we, we cannot do anything except for staying in this position and maybe punishing the Leopard 1. Let's see. Leopard 1 is behind this cover. Maybe he's now moving out. No, it doesn't look like. Okay, now object 257 is spotted. So I want to go into... Okay, yeah, super bad timing. I want to go and use the commander's vision in order to zoom out and to see what's going on. Okay, first shot, I don't know, maybe that was a hit. Second shot was not a hit. And third shot... Uh, I think they were all um, misses. Here you go. Um, now I need at least two shots in the magazine to punish the Leopard 1. Here you go. Maybe if he moves out of cover. And... There you go. Nice. One shot at least. And let's fall back. And okay. We now need to... Okay, we cannot take a shot onto the T57. Now our teammate is in trouble. That is extremely bad. However, we have now two shots in our magazine. And... He's a very good player indeed. So now, okay, now we need to take a shot onto the... Go. Okay, a track shot. And can I take him out? 
Yes, that was extremely important because now he maintains in a 1v1 situation. Um, otherwise, he would be in a 1v2 situation. And I think he would not be able to handle this situation. So, extremely good for us to take out the 257. And I think we are close to making an, yeah, an offensive move because there's the T30. Yes, half HP. There's the... Here you go. There he is. Okay, nice. That's what I want to see. And now I can empty my full clip in order to make damage. Here you go. Another shot. Bam. Okay, I need to fall back because I am um, under fire by the Manticore. 4.3k damage. And I think one shot... One shot actually could have been a hit. So uh, we have around um, 4.7k damage, maybe. And now... Um, T30 is out of the game. Um, Leopard 1 is on the... Has fallen back. T57 Heavy is down to being one or maybe two shotable. So I will reload my clip. And I think then I can advance. There's of course the Manticore still in the game. Okay, here's Leopard 1. Okay, I need to take out the Leopard 1. Let me see. Okay, uh, he's, uh, let me see. Black uh, shot. No, maybe now. Nice. And can we take him out? Here you go. He's taken out. And you know what? I can now advance to the... Yeah, to the remaining tanks. There's only the T-57 in the um, in the game. And let's see how it goes. We'll simply push him out. Um, and now he's taken out. Okay, perfect. So, yeah. Um, will we get some more damage? No, I do not think so. In the end, um, we made one blind shot, so we have uh, 5k damage. And I think this was an extremely nice example on how to flex in a situation where your team does not play as expected and does not play a particular flank which you deem is uh, necessary so you should always adjust to what you see on the minimap this is why the minimap is so so important because if we had moved to the left flank by ourselves we would certainly have been taken out and our game would have been over so an extremely nice example and let's now jump into the last game. All right, third and last game. This time we play the Scorpion Tier 8 German Premium Tank Destroyer. And let's first of all take a look at the map and see where the strategic position is located. Spawning on Karelia in the north. This is how the situation usually develops. And in my opinion, this position right here, the hill, down in the south is the strategic position so what I like to do with the Scorpion G is I like to support my team in winning this position and I like to proceed to maybe this position right here in order to make damage onto those tanks who are early on in the game trying to push this position. In my opinion once you have won this hill here chances are significantly increased to win the whole game. Alright, so we want to proceed to the south and help our team to win this important position because most of the time if you or the team that has won the hill in the south is able to win the game. But take a look at the map and see what happens. All of our team is proceeding to the north, to the north except for me, except for the 53 TP and except for the Skoda T50 who is now also waiting and seeing what's going on. So. I instantaneously turn around because there's nothing I can do as a single tank on this important flank. Chances are that the adversary team will approach this southern position with multiple tanks with maybe four, five, six or even seven tanks and so if we would proceed to this position of the map then we would die instantaneously and, and we would simply have a bad game. So I really encourage you to react to what is going on on the map and take a look onto the minimap. I always say that you should try to win the strategic position, however, only if your team allows you to do so. There's nothing more useless than throwing away your tank at the very first beginning of the game, at the, in, in the very first minutes of the game, simply because you want to force a certain playstyle that your team is simply unwilling to let's say support so 
in this situation we have no chance whatsoever i do not like this play style i do think that chances are significantly reduced to win this game however i do not want to throw away my tank and even it's even if my team is not playing the strategic position and is uh, i don't know playing something stupid i want to have a decent result in world of tanks and so i need to adjust my play style and my gameplay to this situation so yeah we went to the north of course with the scorpion i do not want to be the brawling tank in the first line but i want to be in the second line and simply conduct as much damage as i can uh do so let me see let me fully aim in okay that was not a hit but uh, hopefully the challenger maintains in the same position and let me see yes i think this was a hit at least if the challenger still remains in the same position and i will do one more blind shot um because maybe he will still okay this was not a hit um but the shot was hitting a bit to the right so let me see can i get another shot no okay you know what um let's uh, relocate so um the adversary team is already making pressure in the south that was kind of expected and the 53 dp and the skoda t50 are trying to hold this flank however they will um soon get taken out now, of course, I could also have gone to the, let's say, B0 position um, in order to support those two tanks. However, I'm pretty confident that this flank will fall because most of our team is in the north. So let's see whether we can get a shot into the middle. Maybe if the LTG is spotted another time. So let's see. Um, 122TM is now in a difficult position he has some cover but we'll see how it goes of course if if your team is not playing the strategic position as i just said then chances are significantly increased that your team will lose the game simply because you might end up with no map control whatsoever and then um yeah um your team simply loses the game but what i want to suggest is even in those scenarios in those games you want to get a decent result and once again the only way to achieve a good result in such a in such a game with such a stupid team is you have to adjust to the situation okay so i want to fall back our wz has already been taken out our top tier heavy tank and so i want to fall back into this defensive position and get one or maybe two shots um, in order to make more damage so let me see can i get a shot onto the ltg maybe no he's behind cover super unfortunate okay i think we already made about two uh, about one thousand damage with one blind shot onto the challenger and now uh, we can already expect those tanks approaching our base um, you know what i want to rotate and flank to the left and support the cheeto sp and maybe i can get one shot into the 50 tp let me see i have some gun depression in the scorpion so it should work i want to slowly approach approach this position and then fully i'm in nice another shot nice at least um an additional 537 damage and now, yeah, as you can see, our team is melting like ice in the sun. However, even in, in, in such a situation, you can get a decent result. And that's what I want to achieve in this situation. So, here we go. Let's go here with the Scorpion G. Once again, you always have to fully aim in your shots. If, to, if you want to know everything about this tank, then check out my video in which I explain how to make this tank work. So, let me see. Um, you know what? And... Here you go another beautiful shot onto the yak panther now <laughs> we have only four tanks alive uh very soon the tiger one will also be out of the game but nonetheless here you go here you go and oh super unfortunate super unfortunate that we had the turret of the t54 super unfortunate 
but that's just how it is. So let me see, can we get another shot? I mean, we still have 1,100 HP to trade. Here we go. Nice, another 508 damage. Excellent, and then it's now all on our own because we're the last tank surviving and the 50 TP is already pushing us. So I want to take another shot and I think I'm now taken out of the game. Yes, um, but you know what? With one blind shot, uh, 3k damage in such a game, and I think this once again showed how you can get a decent result even when your team is not playing the strategic position. Sometimes you are, you are able to hold the adversary advance and sometimes you're even, um, you, you can even turn around the game. But sometimes the game is simply lost and I think we all know this um, from our experience. But nonetheless, you can still get a decent result if you manage to adjust to the situation and then simply try to get as much damage as, um, as you can. All right, guys, that was it for today with the video about what to do if your team does not play the important position on a map. What do you think about this topic? Do you think playing the strategic position is important? Do you adjust your playstyle according to what you see on the minimap? Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. This really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. If you find this video extremely helpful, then feel free to support me via Super Thanks. This way you can make a one-time donation. You just have to click this button underneath the video. If you adore this channel and you want to consistently support me, then consider subscribing to my channel or become a member once again with the click of a button underneath the video. Thanks a lot and I see you next time in another World of Tanks video.